Today, we're discussing the most overlooked yet very useful feature in Seven Days to Die. Now, we've got a lot of info to cover and no time to waste, so let's get to it. Seven Days to Die is a rather complex game. Not only do you have to contend with the zombie jerks, but you also have to fend off wild and aggressive animals, make sure you are fed and hydrated, and keep Mother Nature at bay. And that is just the survival aspect of Seven Days to Die. Add on top of that building and crafting in this game, and the complexity shoots up to a whole nother level. And honestly, Seven Days can can feel a bit overwhelming, especially for new players. Well, today we're going to take a look at one of the most overlooked yet useful features in Seven Days to Die. And ladies and gentlemen, it is right there in front of your faces. Do you see it yet? Don't worry, I'll give you a second. That's right, I'm talking about the journal. This little pin icon right here that flashes yellow whenever you have new information available opens up one of the most useful menus in Seven Days to Die. And it is very often overlooked by new players and experienced players alike. I've got to be honest with you folks, I have thousands of hours in Seven Days to Die, and even I overlook the journal menu. I've spent hundreds of hours in this world alone, and as you can see, my pen icon is flashing yellow, meaning there's new topics available that I have yet to open up and take a look at. And this menu contains a whole bunch of very useful topics. The journal menu gives you basic info on things like survival and first aid, as well as some more advanced information on things like the chemistry station, the wire tool, which you need for electricity, as well as cameras, which are more of a late game item. Now the journal menu is similar to the load screen tips that you see while your playthrough is loading. However, the benefit of the journal menu is that it can be accessed any time and it is absolutely chocked full of extremely useful and helpful information. Now the journal menu won't tell you everything about Seven Days to Die, but if you ever have a question about a certain aspect of the game, click on that little pen icon and open up your journal and you may very well find the answers you're looking for. Seven Days to Die is a rather complex game. However, the developers have added in a special feature which will help you unravel the complexities of seven days. The journal menu is chocked full of extremely helpful information and is often overlooked by new and experienced players alike. Whenever you see the pen icon flashing yellow, that's your cue that there's some new information available. And the great thing about the journal menu is that it's available anytime. So if you ever have questions about seven days, access that journal menu, read through the various topics, and you just may find the answers you're looking for. Now, if the journal menu didn't quite answer your question and you're looking for some more tips and tricks for seven days to die, check out my tips and tricks playlist by clicking that box in the top right corner of the screen. But for now, this is Savin saying thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll catch you in the next one.